Man, I have no idea where to begin in this video. It's 7 a.m. I'm 300 miles away from home. Do you hear that rooster in the background? That started at 4 a.m. last night. I got here at 1. Sleep was off and on. I'm going to be fishing in an area where I have wanted to fish for years. I wanted to make this video for years, even before I've had a YouTube channel. As you can see, I'm just in a residential area now. That's where I choose to sleep if I come out here camping away from home. Camping, as they say. But super thankful to be able to do this video. It's been three years in the making. Hope it's a good one. I have no idea what's in store, but let's get it started. See the boats? My boat and Richard's boat. Now we know what we're doing. What better place to tell you guys what we're doing than the gas station? So we got this boat here. We're going to launch it. And how we're going to launch it is with this thing over here. Check this out. See this crane here? It's attached to a winch. We're going to put this in the tow hitch and we're going to lower the boats into the water. One Zodiac with a 40 horsepower two stroke. And there's the Whaley with a 20 horsepower Yamaha. You guys know who this is right here? What's up, everybody? Man, I started watching his pocket fishing videos seven, eight years ago before I even had a YouTube channel. So he invited, awesome. invited me out. We're going to have some good fishing today. Yeah, we are. Good conditions. It's overcast. Swell looks good. No wind. It's going to be a good day. They just launched Richard's boat on their homemade winch. Now I'm getting my boat all ready to go. Vince is gonna be riding with me. We're gonna get some big red rockfish. Man, I don't know, this is the promised land right here. The nearest launch ramp is 40 miles south and then 60 miles north. So if anybody wanted to fish this spot, they would have to come hours, hours, hours. So this is a very low pressured area and I can't wait to get out there. So we got the hoist right here, and that's connected to a winch on the tow hitch. We're gonna lift the whaley up and over, down about 20 feet here. Already got one boat in the water waiting for us. There he is, and we're about to get started. Look at her go. That's Vince from Jurassic Sport Fishing, and there's Tim, hit me up on Instagram to come out here. Amazing. Good. All right, one crank, let's do it. Let's do it. Ah. Sponsored by Yamaha. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're starting out, you know, quarter mile, no, maybe half mile from the launch. Vince was telling me that this is a spot where he's encountered a lot of sharks. So he's got a video. When was that video? Which one? <laughs> the one last where you, year. that last was last year? year? Yep, uh, on that dinghy right there. Um, yeah. And the spot we're at right now, we dropped one lobster. We get lobster up here. So we dropped a uh, pro marnet. Yeah. And on the first drop, as I picked up a cabazon, uh, we had a great white 15 footer circling the boat. Right, this is what I just switched to. This is a three ounce green pumpkin, just a swim bait. See? Nice. I'll probably tie a teaser on there later. There's one. Yeah? Yep. Oh, it came off. I didn't. There you go. Oh. That's all right. He'll be right back. Yep. On, the, on, on your favorite lure. Yeah, man. First. <laughs> first drop. I was about to tie a teaser on there too. There's one. Yeah, John? Yep. Nice. First Feels one. like a good one. There you go. Man, this is going to be bendo. It's going to be easy, man. You got a uh, Let me know if you need your gaff. Do you have one? Oh, I don't have a gaff. That's what the hands for. <laughs> Ooh, that feels like a good one, got man. Good head shakes. Yeah, it does. Very good head shakes. Ooh, yeah. Could be a ling. Could be. I think it might be a ling. Oh, 
Oh, oh big old cabbie. Dang, See? man. Yeah. Come on, too. Nice. Oh, nice cab, bro. Nice cab. That's, that's Central Coast right there all day. Oh, look at that. Double hookup. All right. Nice. Damn, that's a 23 inch or 22? At least. Hell yeah, man. Let's see what I got. Oh, look at this balloon. A balloon? First one on the Lincoln. That's Jake. a big one, too. Damn. You gonna keep, you're gonna keep fish today? Yeah, yeah. Let's do some tacos, man. We're gonna we're gonna do a little eat segment here too. Fried fish. Ah, thanks, man. I'll bleed him in a little bit. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, this thing's fighting hard, man. Whatever it is. Nice. I'll make it up if I can help you. Oh, big old red. Nice red, dude. Nice fat red. Oh, oh big gopher. That's big old gopher. Man, I think I'm gonna release this one. Okay, yeah, I was gonna let him go. What is that? Is oh, it? that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Hell yeah, it is. Look at that, Chuck. So, there it is. Make some good tacos right there. What's been your favorite place to go fishing so far? Um, <laughs> look what I got. What's up? <laughs> Rass. <laughs> nice. Um, I like the Coronado Islands. Those are fun. Yeah, that trip to the Yelltail? Yeah. That like, was like fun. Like, we went out there, but it was a rock cod trip. Oh. And, but it was a it was a um, networking trip. It took DJ Quick's nephew. <laughs> DJ Quick. Yeah. Does he fish? His nephew does. Sugar Free fishes. That's cool. Uh, MC8 fishes. A bunch of old school cats. Uh huh. That we got lined up. With this, you know? oh, that's cool. And there's like, how did this sport fishing club start? few of us coming out here. I, saw, I fish all the time, so you want? I was. I just saw a seal over there. Yeah. And, uh, there it is. GoPro. Yeah. Smaller one, huh? Yeah, a little smaller. So they hit me up. I got to the point where it was like a hundred numbers. Dang. I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't call everybody. Yeah. Uh, so I would, uh, started using Facebook. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Feels that's like nice. That's a good one. I'm not sure what that is. Feels like a vermilion. I hope red. That's a that's a good fish right there. Feels good. Oh yeah, it feels good. It feels pulling the boat around. Could be another cab. No, no, it's red. Nice red. Yeah, that's a nice. Nice one. red. Woo! Damn, that's a. That's freaking <laughs> now. Hey, hey, hey! Woo! Dang. That is a big red, brother. Wow, that thing is. Welcome to the Central Coast. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going home with some fish this time. There you are. Damn. This is like Alaska size. Yeah. Holy cow. So that's why we called it Jurassic, because the fish we're catching is massive. Oh, yeah, that's a great name. Jeez, look at that thing. That's that uh, nice, bro. That's a five and a half, six pounder, probably. <laughs> Good fish. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm gonna cut these guys' gills. Just keep them in the cooler. Dang. Very nice. Sometimes I found that the windy days and that when the drift is strong, those yeah. are the best bites. Yep. Found that too. Today is a great day. Ooh. Dude, I don't even need to turn the camera off. It's just <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, dude, it's fishy, bro. Did he come off or no? Oh, no, He's I got there. All right, y'all, so it's really windy now. Our drift is really fast, so we're tying on some heavier stuff. I got this eight ounce Fisherman's Life jig. If you wanted to buy it, fisherman'slife.net. Also got the teaser on top. No lings yet, nice cavy, nice red. And look at Vince, we're all, it's it's wet out here. A little heavier. Just, just last year, they put that, that uh, colored chart, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I love it. Woo! <laughs> that was a big one. All right, Vince is blocking the waves from me this time. I got you, bro. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. 
God damn. <laughs> crazy. Woo! Gotta love it. Gotta yeah. love it. Oh! God. Alright. As long as you're good, I'm good. Good. I may be wet, but I'm good. Alright, good. Bro, look at my pants, y'all. I could ring this out. This is we're just on the edge. We gotta go a little bit more. Okay. Alright. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, a good spot. That's a good spot for it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice. 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 Uh-uh. Little cabby. It is a keeper. You like it? A little small for your area. Yeah. For sure. Here you go. Flyers? Yeah. Where'd they go? There. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, get out of there. No, snagged, but I'm out. Originally, we were going to take those fillets from the fish and cook it up at home, fry it. But Vince knows somebody here at this pizza place, so we're going to do a fish pizza maybe. Bring the fish in there, and they're going to make a pizza out of it. So I, I've never had fish pizza before, but we're going to see how they do it. Vince says it's delicious. Here's the finished product. It's been in the oven for a little while. Is that hummus? I don't know what that is, but is it good? How good? All right, guys. Well, it looks like tomorrow might be too windy. We're going to find out tonight. But again, thank you, Tim. Thank you, Vince. You got it, man. It's good to see you guys. And I hope to come out again on the next low tide. Yeah. yeah man. Negative tide. Negative tide. Negative king tide. So Vince is drastic sport fishing. He's got a club out here. Mm -hmm. We had a good day. A lot of fish caught. Uh, winds picked up. Couldn't stay out. But got super wet. Got, got a little wet. Some of us didn't. I was in the dry boat. What did you catch, Tim? I caught some lings, some nice browns, a uh, couple short lings. And then uh, Strange caught himself some lings and some really nice browns. They had two limits on the boat, so. Yeah, two limits on the boat. We didn't catch any lings. They got them on the blue jigs, but. Yeah, so Tim's got Instagram. What's your Instagram? This is Timothy at Harold. Yeah, and yours is Jurassic Sport Fishing, right? Yep, Jurassic Sport Fishing, uh, Jurassic, Sport Fishing, and then Vince.JurassicSportFishing. All right, cool. Thanks again, guys. Check them out. We'll see you next time.